whether it's an apocalypse, war, hit the fan scenario, or home defense. In this video, I wanna give you three reasons why the K-Bar Becker BK-9 is a combat beast. Stick around. As always, I wanna thank you for taking time to drop in, my friend. I wanna thank all of my subscribers and welcome all the new visitors here to 411 Outdoors. I hope you find this content resourceful. Let's get rolling. At this time, I wanna give a shout out to Tomars K-Bars, who sponsored this video, who sent me this BK9 to review. They're a excellent company. I'm gonna start getting all of my K-Bars from Tomars K-Bars. I made a connection with them a while back and a portion of their proceeds goes to support the troops. Their website's laid out very well. It's very user-friendly. There's pretty much everything K-Bar all in one place and I really think you will enjoy navigating their site. The BK-9 is a classic USA made monster and a go-to for many. It's good for anything you wanna use it for. It's obviously not only a combative instrument but can be used easily as a machete for all kinds of bushcraft tasks, but this thing is called the combat buoy. So I wanna give it a combat review. This is the sheath it comes with, and it's got this other compartment here in the front. You can keep a sharpening stone or other supplies. The first thing that makes the BK-9 a beast is its build. It's made with 1095 Crowband steel. It's very, very tough and durable. Not so much corrosion resistant, but very tough. The title Crow Van Steel is kind of a marketing thing. You can actually look up the components of Crow Van Steel. Nevertheless, it's rock solid, but you got to take good care of it because it can corrode and rust. But it has a true full tang construction from top to bottom. Now it's got some thickness, but it's not too thick. Sometimes when something is too thick, it can affect the slicing ability. This is around 4.7 millimeters thick, and it is thick enough. It has a very nice pommel. To strike with now the one complaint i've heard more than anything is the factory handle because a lot of people feel this is very slippery let me show you what i'm going to do i'm going to do what i do with a lot of my fixed blades and i'm going to take hockey tape black hockey tape and wrap it around this handle because you know i'm going to throw this anyway i want to be able to throw this big blade and it's a lot of fun and it can take it but i'm just going to go around here like this that's all i'm going to do is just a couple of wraps you can buy micarta or G10 scales for this handle. I already feel like I've got so much more grip on this handle, and that's probably all I'll ever do. I won't upgrade to no my card or G10 scales. I just bust them up the way I throw and handle my blades, so that's gonna be just fine for me. As far as combat and tactical is concerned, do keep in mind that this does not have a reflective coating on the blade. So depending upon the situation, you may not want a reflective coating you want to think about that as well this does not have a reflection so it's very covert i also don't want to fail to mention the piercing attributes of this machine i don't even have to get started on how sharp this is this is mega sharp mega sharp the second feature that makes this a beast is its reach this is nine and a quarter inches of blade this allows you to do great damage from a distance if need be which leads me to my next point and that is number three it's dynamic at just a little over a pound you've got a blade that can be wielded very quickly it's not slow this thing does not have a slow dynamic you've got the ability to work with great speed with the bk9 let's have a little fun I really do like the hockey tape right in the middle of this handle. It just changes the dynamic. It just gives you something grippy and it, it matches the handle. You can't even hardly see it. The BK-9, ladies and gentlemen, it's nothing new to the blade community, but there's never enough to be said about it. It's called the Combat Buoy for a reason because it lives up to its name. It's got a great build 
an awesome reach and dynamic. If you're just looking for a good machete, you've got it right here. If you're looking for a big blade to use out in the bush, you've got it right here. It's just a great product. And again, I would encourage you to go out and check out Tomar's K-Bars. It's just a real fun site to flip through. He's got everything categorized. I always like to end my videos with a question because as a YouTuber, I definitely don't want to push the idea that I covered everything. Tell me some things you love about the BK-9. What do you believe makes this a combat beast? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Take care.